For one song on my two record list, a classical guitar that is an acoustic guitar with nylon strings plays a major role. With that in mind, I'd like to compare various recording setups that usually work well. In this video, we'll find out in direct comparison which one sounds best and whether it's really worth recording a guitar in stereo. This is the setup. On top you see the Rode NT4, a low-noise stereo microphone with two half-inch condenser capsules mounted in a compact 90-degree XY configuration. It provides good mono compatibility and usually creates a natural and balanced stereo image. The Shure VP88 is directly below. This is also a stereo microphone, but it works with MS, a mid-side design. A cardioid capsule records sound coming from the front and a bidirectional capsule captures sound coming from the side. And now the two established and well-proven mono mics. On the left, the Sennheiser MKH40, a cardioid high-frequency condenser microphone which picks up sound in front of the microphone in a rather wide field without coloration while effectively suppressing sound from the sides and from behind. Finally, on the right, the Biodynamic M160. I really like this dynamic double ribbon microphone with its hypercardioid polar pattern because it combines the warm vintage sound typical of ribbons with a robust quality which is not common for ribbon mics. Of course, for the best comparison it would be ideal if all the microphones were located at exactly the same spot. But that would mean that I would have to play exactly the same notes in precisely the same way at this exact position four times in a row and nobody can do that. But since all the mics are very close to each other, the relevant differences are actually most discernible when I play one take and simultaneously record it with all four mics. The distance between the concert guitar and the capsules is 15 cm. The direction of the mics is aimed to the 14th fret. Enough said, here are the recordings. Before I describe my impressions in detail, have a listen and see for yourself. The Sennheiser is an old favorite of mine for nylon and steel string instruments. You can't go wrong with that one. Unfortunately, the MKH40 is only available second hand, usually for something around 700 euros. Sure, it still needs a nice treble boost, but the same goes for the following track. The M160 produces a fairly strong low end, as is typical for ribbon microphones. The highest frequencies are softer than with a Sennheiser. However, this leaves more options when mixing the top end. A white bell filter at 20 kHz can sound great on this mic. The list price is around 800 euros. The NT4 stereo microphone is priced at roughly 500 euros and has a surprisingly lean or even thin sound. Basically, I do like the stereo sound. The 90 degree XY layout, however, takes the focus off the guitar's sweet spot, which is somewhere between the 12th and 16th fret, exactly between the two capsules. This makes the sound a bit fragmented and I miss clear locatability. The VP88 has this focus because of the on-axis cardioid polar pattern. 
And since it's a MS recording, I can change the level of the side signal to find the best setting later in the mix. The basic sound is not that different from the Sennheiser, but the stereo recording is more transparent and colorful. I really like that. The price for this mic is about 1200 euros. Does your impression match my result? Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below.